Hello, my name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. And would you like to be able to provision a multi-replica SQL Server Always On Availability Group across multiple Nutanix clusters? Well, ERA 2.0 has now added that capability. I'm excited to show you how this works. So let's get right into the interface and check it out. Let's go over what needs to be done before you can deploy to multiple clusters. You, of course, need to have more than one Nutanix cluster registered with ERA. If we open the administration section of ERA, you can see that I have one Nutanix cluster that is in a local DC and another that is a Nutanix cluster running in the public cloud. You also need to have networks registered from each cluster for any VLANs you want to provision databases to. I have three set up, one for each cluster that the IP addresses are managed with ERA and another that the IP addresses are not managed with ERA. Leaving the administration section, we will head to the profile section. For any software profile you want to provision from, it will need to be replicated to each cluster. ERA uses Nutanix's HCI protection domains to replicate data between clusters. In the network profile section, you will need to set up networks for each registered Nutanix cluster, as well as a SQL AG network setup that has any of the clusters you want to be able to provision a SQL always on availability group to. With those set up, we are ready to start deploying Microsoft SQL Server databases. From the drop down menu, we will select databases. With a single instance deployment of SQL Server or any of the supported databases, you will now have the option of picking which cluster to deploy to. When you choose the cluster, it will show you the available software profiles you can use to deploy from. But let's move on to provisioning a SQL Availability Group database. This time, we will select Availability Database from the dropdown. We will give the cluster a name and choose which clusters we want to put database replicas. In this case, we will choose all of them. We will then select Network and the domain profile we want to use. You can set up the main profiles under their profile section in the ERA menu. On the next screen, we will select our software profile, compute profile, and provide a Windows administrator password. I'm going to add another server VM so I can have a synchronous replica in my local data center and an asynchronous replica on my Nutanix cluster in the public cloud. From there, we will select our database instance parameter profile and give a Windows user admin access to the SQL cluster. On the AG settings screen, I'm going to leave the backup set as primary only. However, you could set this to any of the options if you wanted to make sure any backups taken by ERA would not be done on the primary database. You also have the option of having readable secondaries. I'm going to leave the cluster in the public cloud set to not readable. On the next screen, we will create our database name and select the database parameters profile. On the time machine screen, we will select our SLA. I'm going to choose the gold SLA that comes with ERA because I want continuous protection with log backups. We will add replication of these backups after the server is done provisioning. We will click provision to get the process started. On the operations page, we can see the steps that ERA takes to provision the database. This of course automates a lot of what you may have had to do manually to provision a SQL AG database group. We will come back when this is finished. The provision is complete and it took about 35 minutes to provision a multi-replica SQL AG database with replicas on two different Nutanix clusters. ERA takes care of registering the database and joining them to the domain. So this database is online and ready to be used. Let's head over to the database section to see details for this databases. Once we are there, we will expand the AG group name and click on the database. On this page, we can see what version the database is, how to connect to it, what profiles were used in the deployment. This is also where you will see the AG group info, so you know what server the database is on and which server is the backup target. Now we will click on the time machine and set up our backup to replicate to the offsite cluster. Once we are in the time machine for the database, we will click on the data access management section. This screen will show the database servers that are connected to the time machine and the SLA for the Nutanix clusters. As you can see, the offsite Nutanix cluster has an SLA of none. We will choose the table view, then click add. We will choose the available SLA and click update. Once you do that, you will see that the SLA is assigned to the offsite Nutanix cluster. Now we are going to take an on-demand snapshot so we can replicate it to the off-site cluster. We will click on the snapshot section. Here you can see the first snapshot that was taken by ERA when the provisioning was done. From here we will choose create, select both clusters, then click update. The snapshot is done as well as the replication. Let's head over to the time machine snapshot section. In this section you can see that the Nutanix clusters now show that they both have the snapshot. We will now head over to the database VMs menu to check out the details of the VMs that make up the AG group. In the source list, you can expand the cluster name to see the member servers. If you click on the cluster name, you will see the details of the group. You can see that this is up to date with all patches. 
You can also see all databases that are connected to the cluster and the AG group that will be listed here. If you click on a server name, you can get the details of that server and how to connect to it. So that wraps up the provisioning of our SQL Always On Availability Group database. As you can see, Nutanix Era saves time during provisioning because we allow you to create profiles customized to your specifications. Thank you for watching.